Hey, so uh, today I just want to talk a little tiny bit about a concept called Three Minds. You may have heard some variation of this. Um, the quick breakdown is three dantians in the Chinese terms doesn't just refer to energy centers or subtle aspects of the energetic body. Um, it's also referring to concentrations of consciousness, right? Um, quick shorthand we call the third eye point, the upper Dantian, the seat of the monkey mind. Right? This is where identity lives, this is where memory lives, this is where language and logic and various other sort of calculated programs are stored and run from. Then we have the heart mind. Um, most commonly in Chinese, the character and the word when people describe self or mind is actually sin, H-S-I-N. We often see it in an English, you know, spelling. Um, this is the heart mind. This is where uh, the wild horse lives. This is where our emotional center is. This is where the things that we care about, the things that we're passionate about, the things that we hate secretly, uh, everything we love and despise the seat of that type of consciousness is here. And the heart wants exactly what it wants. It runs straight towards it. That's why we call it the wild horse, right? It, it doesn't really play around. It just charges <laughs> directly towards what it feels. Um, and then we have the lower Dantian, the one that you've heard described perhaps uh, as the Hara in Japanese martial arts. The Dantian it most often just gets called the Dantian in Chinese martial arts, but it's really the lower Dantian because, as I've just mentioned, there are three. And the lower Dantian is the seat, um, the actual physical center of gravity of your body. Uh, it's about three of your finger widths below your navel and that exact same depth inside your body. And um, this is the seat of a different kind of consciousness. It's the consciousness that knows truth instantaneously without relying on a story or a language. It's like solid liquid gas, yes, no, hot, cold, true or false, on or off, now or then. And it's really always reporting to us now. So if you start to go into then, in the past or the future, then you're relying on processing through some other mind besides the lower Dantian. Now, this is not to say that any one of them is superior, actually. Um, the point of the Taoist cultivation is to get all of the minds to both not just come online, but to function in harmony with each other and to operate in tandem and in presence and in a cooperative way, right? Uh, so we say many, many hands makes light work, right? But um, that's really only true if all the hands are pulling in the same direction. So in modern, you know, if you're into consciousness, which I hope you are, uh, and we hear discussions about terms like neuroplasticity, right? This term gets tossed around by people who think they invented it. Um, we hear a lot of talk about regulating nervous systems, right? But these people who identify these things are talking about them intellectually using only this part of their mind, and they really don't understand any practical methodology for doing the trick they're asking to have happen, right? I need to regulate my nervous system, but I have no idea that a third of my nervous system is in my guts at my vagus nerve where the lower Dantian be at. <laughs> All right, that's enough for now. Love you guys. Enjoy the flow. Practice.